Hello everyone. Let's see how to read a JSON file into a data frame in Spark using Scala. As you know that JSON file is a lightweight data interchange format that is used to store and transmit data in a structured format. And it's commonly used for representing data in a human and machine readable format. And the file that you are seeing here is a JSON file. And you would notice that this is very similar to a text file, but it follows some syntax and the file name contains dot json extension and one important thing to notice when you are working with json files is that we can see that the order of the keys are id name and dob but when we read any json file using any of the technique in programming language like in python we use json.loads and in spark we use data frame reader so wherever we, re we read the data it's not guaranteed that the order of the records that we get is same as what it is stored in the JSON files. So we might not get ID as the first column, name as the second column, and DOB as the third column when we read it to a data frame or any variable in Python, Python also. And one more thing to notice when we are working with JSON files is that, so this is a valid JSON, and the JSON that you are seeing here is also a valid JSON with the same data that we have and very similar structure. So this is also encapsulated with a square bracket and our records are present inside a flower bracket and each of the object is each of the record or a row is separated by a comma and even if you notice here the entire object is encapsulated inside a square bracket and each record block is inside a flower bracket and each of the row is separated by comma so the both of these files are very similar there is one more representation of the same json file so the difference between the JSON file that we are seeing now and the other JSON file that we are talking about is that it doesn't contains the encapsulating square brackets at the beginning and end. And it will also not contains the comma separating each rows in the JSON file. So this is also a valid JSON file and we call this file as JSON lines or JSON L files. When we are reading this JSON file using Spark, by default, Spark considers JSON files to be having JSON lines. So, which means the structure that we are seeing right now. So, if the JSON file is structured in the JSON lines format without commas separating each row and without square brackets encapsulating them, Spark will be able to read it just by using spark.read.json. I'll read a single file in the JSON using spark.read.json and show it to you. And for the purpose of this video, I have created a object called read JSON file and initiated a main inside the object, created spark variable, also added spark spark.stop at the end. Now my data is present inside this JSON L files folder. And we have two JSON files. One is data.json which is this file and data1.json which is this file. Now I'll show you how to read this single file using Spark. I will read this data into JSON DF using spark.read.json and I'll provide path of this JSON file. For us to understand what data is being read, let us print this data frame now let me run it as you can see that the data is being read into the data frame correctly and as i said earlier the order of the keys in json file is not guaranteed you can see that the order is id name and dob but the data frame is read as dob id and name so this is very common in json files and whenever you are processing any JSON files after reading into a data frame, don't consider the order. Consider the keys when you are processing the data. That is, you can use ID or name or DOB or any of the column names to do any of the calculations on top of this data frame, but not the order. So this is how we read a single file into a data frame in Spark, single JSON file. I said that by default spark will consider json lines as a json file but what if we have data in this format or the previous format where the data is encapsulated by square brackets and each row is separated by comma 
So let us try to read this multi line data file using the same logic in Spark and see what it will display. And this multi line data is present inside JSON files folder. If I process this multi line data JSON file, you see an error stating that there is a corrupt record column. It means that it is not able to process the multi line JSON file. But there is still a way to process this multi line JSON file by telling Spark explicitly that this JSON file that I am providing to you contains JSON records in multi line format. So that can be set using option parameter where we tell multi line is true. So if we tell that multi line equal to true, Spark will be able to parse the multi line JSON file. Now you can see that the JSON file is passed correctly. So this is how we are going to read a multi line JSON file in Spark. Now we have seen how to read a single file, single JSON file in Spark and how to read a multi line JSON file in Spark. Now I'll show you how to read multiple JSON file at the same time into a Spark data frame using Spark. We can use the same logic spark.read.json and we can just pass the list of paths that we are going to process. And another path would be the same path, but it would be data1.json. So as we are providing the list, we can provide underscore uh, colon underscore star to convert this list into a comma separated values and run this code. So now we provided data.json and data1.json. Our data.json contains IDs 1, 2, 3, and 4. And data1.json contains IDs 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now as we have passed two files, we should be able to see the IDs 1, 2, 8 when we are displaying this data frame. You can see that we see eight records as we are reading two files and there are totally eight records that are present in, present inside the two files. Now let us see how to read all the JSON files that are present inside a folder. So here instead of providing a single path, we provide the path to this folder. Let us assume that our folder contains only JSON files. So there is one CSV file. Let me delete that file. So I have deleted the CSV file and in my JSON L files folder, I only have two JSON files. Right. By using this, I should be able to read the two files and display eight records which are present across both of the files. So now we are able to read all the files inside the folder that we have provided and display all the records. So what if this folder also contains some other file types, which is as we have seen earlier data.csv as well. And it contains data.csv some random data. Let's, let me process this code again. So now I am passing the same folder, but it also contains one extra record, one extra file, which is non JSON file. We can see that it picked up the eight rows, eight rows correctly, and there are two additional rows and one additional column. The additional column tells the tells us about the corrupt record, and the, these two rows are coming from the CSV file that we are creating. One row is this one, and the other row is the second row. So it says that these two rows are corrupted as these two rows are not not following the JSON format and we are using the JSON reader here. Whenever we are using JSON reader, it is only capable of picking up the JSON files, right? So as there might be many cases where we should see other file types also in the same folder, when we are reading the entire folder, it is always good to mention the folder name followed by star dot JSON when we are reading JSON files. If you are reading CSV files using a CSV reader, you can mention star dot CSV or parquet files using star dot parquet.
Now I have mentioned star dot JSON. What this star means is that it will consider all the files inside this folder which are having an extension dot JSON. Now you can see that it only picked up the two files. We can also see here. So it picked up the file which is data one dot JSON and data dot JSON and processed eight records correctly. And there are no additional rows or additional columns that that are from the CSV file. So this is how we are going to read any JSON file or list of JSON files or all the JSON files in a certain folder. And we have also seen how to read a single line or JSON lines or multi line JSON file. So if you like this video, please hit on the like button and for more videos on Spark data engineering, big data and preparing for interviews, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos on data engineering and big data. See you in my next video.